Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Andy Nguyen, and now we're gonna review the frog. Jian Frog is the epitome of affordable board. He ran the F18X and he basically sold it at cost. And with the Jian Frog, it has a lower front height. This is the green unit. <laughs> and it looks beautiful. Jian really made a statement with the Frog TKL because it's an affordable $280 to $300 baseboard without PCB. So after PCB and after shipping, maybe 400 or something. But it really has sick design that is really only found in the higher end boards. It is more or less a top mount board. So it really solidifies itself in the budget category and it goes up against the 8X Mark II, which basically was the crowned budget TKL. Gian is able to make these boards so cheap is because he owns his own factory and he just doesn't give a damn. He loves to shake up the hobby and he loves to troll. What I mean by trolling is this is themed frog. Why frog? I do not. But the frog is mounted via what's called tadpoles, which are very phallic looking top mount mounting points instead of using screws. There's I show my fiance these clips. And they're rubber, so you don't really need an O-ring. So this is more or less kind of like an O-ring top mount. In this build right here, we have cherry topped H1s, ADA durometer tadpoles. So they're the stiffer tadpoles. These cherry top H1s are on an FR4 plate, which really makes it sound really nice. Typically cherry tops, if you swap it into a switch like the H1, will make it clack here. So if you don't want clack, don't change it to cherry. Top. This is what's called a Franken switch. So you're taking two different switches and you're taking the parts and putting them together, basically making a more expensive switch. So if you're budget conscious, don't worry about Franken switches. And on this board, I have here JTK Zen, which is my first JTK GB. And the ETA when I entered the GB was about five months. And then it was delayed by nine months, but it did come. Now the legends are a little bit different. The legends are skinnier in some places and thicker in some places. So in terms of consistency, GMK still reigns king, but the thickness of it is just a hair, maybe 0.25 millimeter or 0.5 millimeter, a little bit less thick than GMK. But in terms of the sound that you feel, I don't think it sounds all that different. It's definitely thicker than Taihao. So this frog took the world by storm because it's budget, right? A lot of viewers were underwhelmed by the sound. So unfortunately, the sound is a little bit hollow. The ADA here, sounds pretty good but knowing that had a possibility to sound hollow to give my friend the best chance I built it with the PCB foam and case foam that was sold by Swag Keys. I think with that combination we have a kind of foamy top mount board but it sounds pretty good it sounds full this space bar right here sounds solid to my ears I'm sure you could hear it in the mic my friend who did not build with case foam and PCB foam, he said it sounded pretty hollow, even with the 58 durometer tadpoles and the 88 durometer tadpoles. What do I think of this board? I think the sound, once foamed, is pretty typical of a TKL. So it really is a budget TKL. At $400 shipped with the PCB, maybe not truly budget. The Matrix Me is also another contender coming into the market at 280 with PCB. So the budget category is really heating up in the hobby. Do I like this board? I really do. I like low front height boards. And I think the design, like these curves right here, make it well worth it. And the external weight, because the F18X had internal weight, this has internal and external. I really like it a lot, actually. Now that I'm clacking at it, I am biased though. I really like Gion's products. Is it the best sounding TKL? Can it like defeat a Jane? No, it's, it really can't. But honestly, if you've never typed on a Jane, if you've never typed on the high-end TKLs or high-end boards, you'll be perfectly happy with a Gion Frog. Great feeling, great looking board. I would think the sound is maybe seven or eight out of 10 instead of 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, maybe 6.5 if you're very critical, but that's still amazing for the price. Which, should you buy it out to market? Hell no. Gion is intending to roll these out every month. You may have trouble getting PCB. Uh, make sure you sign up for Heine's newsletter to get the compatible PCBs. And I wish you the best of luck if you're trying to get a frog. Don't buy it out to market though, please don't. Bye.